Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today guys I'm gonna show y'all one of my favorite appetizer recipes and that's Philly cheesesteak egg rolls y'all It's super simple. It only requires a few ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and get started All right, so first off you guys you can use any cooking apparatus of your choice I'm using my cast iron skillet and it's over medium heat and to that, I'm gonna add in just a little bit of oil. I got some olive oil there. And I'm gonna fry up a half of a red onion that has been diced, a purple onion, whatever you wanna call it, yeah. And a half of a bell pepper that has been diced. It could be any color, it's up to you, honey. Just get you an onion and bell pepper over in there, all right? Give that a quick mix. We wanna soften those up just a little bit. They're gonna cook down. And I'm gonna season them with a little bit of Dale seasoning. This is an Alabama-based seasoning. It should be in some grocery stores, but if not, you can sub it out for Worcestershire sauce. We only need a cap full, all right? That's all I put in there, because that stuff is very concentrated, all right? So go ahead and get that in, mix it up. And then to this, we're gonna add in one pound of thinly shaved ribeye. I purchased this out of the grocery store just like this, okay? I didn't cut up no ribeye. I didn't get ground beef. I used thinly shaved ribeye. If you want to use the little packs, you can do that as well. The only annoying thing about this is that sometimes it takes a lot trying to get it apart, but it is really delicious. So if you can find that, get that in there, separate it up, and then we're going to season it. We're going to add in a teaspoon or to taste um, seasoned salt. I'm going to add in a half teaspoon of black pepper and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. And y'all, that is it, okay? These cheesesteak egg rolls don't need a whole bunch of nothing, all right? We be overcomplicating simple things. Just go ahead and add your little three seasonings in there and call it a day because it's going to be delicious. Now, mix that up. Make sure there is no pink, okay? That should take about three to five minutes to cook. And once it is done and it is cooked all the way through, pop that heat off and add in just a little bit of cheese just to go ahead and get it going. I'm using the mozzarella provolone sargento mix, but you can use whatever kind of cheese of your choice. This is what I'm doing, and this is what it should look like once you're done, okay? After you get that mixed in, go ahead and remove that from the heat and set it aside because now it's time for us to assemble our egg rolls, okay? So I have some egg roll wrappers. You can use any brand of your choice. Just make sure they are actually egg roll wrappers, not spring roll, not rice paper, all right? And you're gonna take your wrapper, add in as much or as little of cheesesteak as you would like. Baby, I stuffed mine to the absolute gods. I could have probably got 10 egg rolls, but I was being greedy, and I put about five servings of the doggone meat in there. But that's my prerogative, okay? But add your meat to the center in a nice uniform line. Then add your cheese on top. If you want to add it on the bottom, you can. If you want to do both, you can. That's up to you. And you're going to dip your finger into some water. And we're going to go ahead and trace the edge of the egg roll, okay? This is going to help us to seal the wrapper because it like to stick. And that's what's going to help us to keep it closed. So go ahead and fold in the sides. Once you do that, tuck in the back and just start rolling just like this. And if that was too quick for you, honey, I'm going to do it again, all right? Take a little bit of water for that extra sealing. Go ahead and get it sealed. Tuck in them sides, baby, just like a little burrito. And then you roll it up. And that's it. And I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I'm only using one wrapper. I'm not using two. I don't want all that in my mouth, okay? I just want one crispy shell of a wrapper. So if you use one, I'm repeating it, if you use one, you have to be extra careful, especially if you have nails like me. It will tear and it will rip, okay? Just keep that in mind. I don't want you to get mad when they all bust wide open, all right? But yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. So you're going to repeat that until you are done with your mix. And then we're going to come back to our stove. And I'm going to add in some vegetable oil. And yes, I added a lot. That's my prerogative, okay? And make sure you get it nice and hot. Don't 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 make don't get that oil cold, okay? Make sure it's hot. So when you put your egg roll in there, it actually cooks. If it's not hot enough, it's gonna get soggy and it's not gonna work out, okay? If it get too hot, you're gonna burn it. But make sure you you're cooking it to about a 350 degree temperature of your oil. Get that in there, and they're gonna brown pretty pretty quickly. It's gonna take about a minute, maybe less than a minute. And once they brown on one side, go ahead and flip them, even if it's light brown. 
because then you're going to mess around and burn it thinking you got a little time and you don't, okay? You can always turn it back around until you get them even, and that's what I like to do. I like to continue to turn them because, you know, the inside, that little inside part of the roll, it don't like to cook all the way through. So just keep turning them for about, you know, over a two-minute period, and, y'all, that's it. That's all that's to it. And these make the perfect appetizer for, like, the Super Bowl, which is coming up. Any football game, if you have guests coming over, or if you want to eat them for dinner, you can do that too, all right? But if you want to be extra fancy or extra cute and you don't want to just bust them wide open, you can cut them into diagonal cuts. So I just wanted to show you all what that looks like. I'm taking a serrated knife. Please be careful. I'm not even guarding myself, but please be careful. Um, take your serrated knife and just cut it in a diagonal. And that's how you get it into this shape here. All right? And, y'all, that's it. That's all that's to it. So let's go ahead and plate it up. And there you have it, guys, our delicious, quick and easy Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. You guys, I'm telling y'all, they bussin' bussin', all right? I'm gonna let you try it for yourself. I ain't even gonna talk about it no more, okay? But look, as always, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. And if you try out this recipe, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye!